Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Mad is here. So today I'm gonna make this 12 volt lithium ion battery pack, and it's made out of 18650 cells recycled from laptop batteries. And obviously, it has a BMS. And if you short the output wires, it's gonna cut off, and that is very safe. So let's see how to make this one. So obviously you need some 1850 cells and these are recycled from old laptop battery packs and it's a BMS or battery management circuit for 12 volt battery pack you can buy them from online although I recycled this from a laptop battery pack and now it's working fine so you need three cells for a 12 volt battery pack but I'm gonna use six of them to make a battery pack in this project if you want to know more about how to remove this batteries from laptop batteries check out my previous power bank build video link in the description first things first you have to charge these cells and I use this kind of setup make sure that uh, the cells are at same voltage and let's see how to get 12 volt from these batteries and each cell have 4.2 volt at full charge and a nominal of 3.7 volt so as you can calculate that you need 3 cell in series like this to get a 12 volt and I gonna use this kind of setup I mean two parallel and three series it's gonna be a 2p 3s battery pack and why I'm using this uh, these cells are Samsung cells and each cell is rated at 2.3 amp or 2.2 amp so just by adding them in parallel gonna increase the capacity of the battery pack so two battery means you have a 2300 plus 2300 so 4600 and it's gonna be a 12 volt 4600 mAh battery pack let's make that simple two batteries in parallel increase the capacity and two batteries in series gonna increase the voltage okay and now it's a 4 volt and by adding one more battery you have 8 volt and just by adding one more battery Here is your 12 volt and it's a BMS and you can see 0 volt, 4 volt, 8 volt and it's written 12 volt or 16 volt and I think it's a universal kind of BMS you can use it for 12 volt and 16 volt I only use it for 12 volt and these are for balancing leads 
also x positive i mean 12 volt and it's 0 volt 4 volt and 8 volt 0 volt means negative after that the common lead is 4 volt and 2 cells are 8 volt and 4, 3 cell 12 volt and outputs are somewhere in the circuit that's not important for now so let's start the build let's make three parallel packs of two batteries Now arrange them in series. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. You have to obtain these batteries. I have already done that while checking. Just like this. Now you need some copper wire. You can use normal copper wire, but uh, these are magnet wires so they have thin coating on them i have to remove that before soldering So as you can see the battery pack is ready and it's the 12 volt positive and it's 12 volt negative. Let's check the voltage before putting the BMS. And 12 volt everything is okay. And the BMS connection is like 0 volt. I mean the minus is 0 volt, 4 volt, 8 volt and 12 volt. Check that. 4 volt, 8 volt and 12 volt. And it's the BMS. These are the battery output leads and charging leads. These are the connection point for these batteries. So let's start soldering wires on them. I'm going to use heat shrink tubes in these wires to make these wires a bit more safe. So let's cut them and shrink them. I'm going to use this big hitching tube uh, to make it insulated um, but you can skip it and you can skip all hitching tubes if you don't have them. Let's solder this VMS with this battery pack. So as you can see the battery pack is almost ready 
and before soldering the output wires here I gonna check the BMS that it gives proper output or not and as you can see it's working fine let's solder the battery cables and after that I gonna tape everything one more time So as you can see the battery pack is ready and if I short the output wires the BMS is going to cut off everything as you can see and after some time the voltage is recovered again and that's how you know that your BMS is working fine or not as you can see 12 volt again so keep visit to my channel for more projects and do subscribe to my channel.